Hi everybody, Jackie here with Dr. Bilski of Bilski Family Dentistry. How are you doing today? Good, good afternoon. Good afternoon. So today we're gonna talk about bone grafts. My dentist is telling me I need a bone graft. What is that? That's scary. Yeah, it sounds it. Right, well, bone grafting is recommended when you have lost bone. Mm. And when you lose bone, you lose gum tissue because mm. your gums lay right on top of that. So particularly in the cases of dental implants, a lot of times we talk about bone grafting. Case of, of teeth, we can do bone grafting as well, but it's usually in the implant um, section of our business. Um, maybe the bone's too skinny, mm. so we can make it a little fatter so that the implant can be placed and have the appropriate amount of 360 degrees around the implant. Yeah solid, healthy bone. It needs to be there to support it. Absolutely. Stay healthy and get the value out of it. And what I told you earlier, to support the gum. Mm. So if we have better foundation, the gum's gonna stay there. So there are two different types of bone grafting you know, that I'm gonna speak about. Um, there is where we can take, sad to say, but cadaver bone, people that have lost their lives but have donated their bones to science, and we utilize it, grind it up, sterilize it, irradiate it. It is the safest thing on the planet, okay? Um, or provided, say we're taking a tooth out, we need a bone graft. Um, your tooth has not had a root canal. Mm. We have, use a visual here, a Mr. Coffee machine. We grind up the tooth, sterilize the granules because tooth and bone matrix or composition are almost identical. Really? So we, we grind this up, and in the beginning of the appointment, we have a phlebotomist that works, you know, so the nice little people that come around the hospital when you have to give blood. Yep. Um, Cassie comes in, takes the, the blood draw, and we put in this fast-spinning centrifuge, and it separates your stem cells. Really? So we use the best parts of your blood, so the stem cells get mixed with the tooth or bone, we let that hydrate, and then we use another product, which is called PRF, platelet-rich fibrin. It looks like a bandage. It's kind of stretchy. Okay. So the PRP, platelet-rich plasma, is the granules. So think of it as this. Those granules are charcoal briquettes. Okay. We put the PRP fluid in there to get the fire started. Yep. Once the fire goes out, those crystals, the charcoal briquettes, start to heat up and they stay hot. Yeah. So it's kind of a kickstart put those in the hole where the tooth was. And then we take that poncho, which is like, we call it a, a, a stretchy a saddle, yeah, PRF, clot. And now it clots like that. We stitch it up and you heal up. The PRF and PRP therapy, along with whatever we choose, the bone or the tooth, creates a stronger bone foundation, usually quicker than normal healing time. So right. if we're waiting, say six months, now it's down to three months, gum tissue for waiting eight weeks, it looks like at three or four weeks, like it's completely healed. Wow. And we have plenty of photographs. And I'm not recommending if you're faint or hard to, to look at it. However, right. we have that. If you come and want to see it, we can show it to you. Yeah. And, and, and this just sounds like, you know, there are options here. Bone grafts are a good option. There's something that's necessary if that bone is gone. Mm -hmm. You know, you need to have that support for the, both the tooth and the gum. And in particular, say we don't use any ground teeth or ground bone from any, you know, anybody. Um, we can use the PRF and then we make it into what's called a plug. Mm. And that goes right in the hole. Okay. And we put a stitch in it. The research on that is incredible. Wow. So if you've ever had wisdom teeth removed, you get what's called a dry socket or potential for that. Yeah. The numbers go down on the incidence of uh, dry socket. When you use the PRF. Right. Exactly. So why wouldn't we use it? So we talk to our patients again about it. This is what you're coming in for. You're going to have your blood dry. Take tooth out, put it in. Yeah. But there are options. There are options out there. Bone graft, it it doesn't sound so scary. It sounds like the research is there. It sounds, you know, and, and it's not something that, you know, you're likely going to feel. You guys do a great job at your offices of making your patients comfortable during procedures like this. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. So if you guys are considering a bone graft, if someone's told you you may need a bone graft, if you're scared because you're not sure what a bone graft is, you need to call Dr. Bilski's office, get a consultation, schedule an appointment, and see what the best option is for you. You can give them a call at 216-524-4410 or visit them online at BilskyDDS.com. You can also drop by their offices located right off of Rockside Road in Independence to schedule your appointment. 
Thank you so much for talking to us about this today. My pleasure.